Hi there, and welcome to Michigan Matters on the web. It was 50 years ago this week the uprising in Detroit occurred. It lasted five days and is impacting Detroit still 2017. And Ike, you were a young police officer at that time and, and had issues yourself with the primarily white police department. Um, what do you think came out of what happened during those five days? I think a realization that we had some very serious problems uh, in a number of areas, whether it's housing, in particular with law enforcement, the way that the minorities were treated. That was probably the most important thing, in addition to housing, jobs, and the fact that people were not being treated fairly. And Joe, you were a community leader at the time, very, very visible in many different ways. The Hudson stores, you, you were running. There was a lot of conversation about what helped lead to the situation in 67 was the lack of inclusion. As a result of what took place there, and I know you started New Detroit at the request of the mayor and the governor at the time, how do you see the issue of inclusion today based on what happened there? Well, I think that's uh, everything uh, that's uh, taken place. I think that's one of the areas that is growing and improving in the community. I think the community has uh, seen the value of that, have better understanding, and uh, uh, what we must uh, say, understand that that's a day-to-day -day affair, that we're getting older year by year, our children are getting older <laughs> year by year, and uh, I'm uh, happy to see the, the youngsters that uh, uh, I've seen in our house and uh, with us uh, have a lot more respect uh, for diversity, and I think that's just a beginning that we, we can build on. And Marlo, you are overseeing the Detroit 67 project at the Detroit Historical Society. Wonderful thing for anybody who hasn't been down there to see it. And how do you think we will remember what took place there and its impact today? By the stories of the Detroiters. It's called Perspectives for a reason. We have to tell our own stories, take control of our own narrative. The last thing I'll say is people say, why would you snatch a scab off an old wound? what makes you think a wound ever formed. Mm, gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. And you can hear much more from them this Sunday on Michigan Matters, 1130 Sunday on CBS 62. Hope to see you then.